Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guiding Centero. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a reading on Lana Del Rey and Clayton Johnson once again. I have people that are inquiring about them, whether they're engaged or what's going on. I'm very nervous about doing this reading because of the fact that I feel like things are not... I felt like things are going to fall apart by the beginning of the year, January, maybe at the latest February. That's what I feel. And then I started getting these comments saying that they're engaged. So I looked it up and it was on People Magazine and nobody, um, like it wasn't Lana or Clayton being interviewed. It was somebody had confirmed that they're engaged. Um, so I don't know about that. I, I you know, um, I do a lot of readings and I think I'm pretty good at the readings that I do. I've only been wrong about Justin Bieber and Haley. I didn't think that was going to last. They're still married. I feel like it's a struggle. Um, I feel like that unravels and then they kind of like hold it together and then it unravels again. I didn't think they'd be together, be, be together six months, never mind married and coming on to, I believe, two years. Okay, so here we have Clayton Johnson and Lana Del Rey and I don't feel like this is a deep, committed, like a deep love. I don't feel it is. People were like, oh, are they dating? I'm like, no, I don't feel like they are because I don't feel a connection between them. I feel Clayton is in a hurry to nail her down. And, you know, someone had put onto my um, last video comment saying they went to school with him and they laughed out loud when I said that he was a redneck. I never said he was a redneck. He reminded me of a redneck. And what that means is um, he might look like a pretty boy on the outside or whatever the case is, but mentally, I feel he is, um, doesn't, he, he thinks about the things that we shouldn't be saying out loud. Like, I don't feel like he likes other people of race and I don't feel like he likes uh, um, gay people. I really feel that he only likes his own. You know, that's kind of what I mean by that, even though he does not look like a redneck. You know, I just feel like he's got this mentality that um, he's not open to new ideas, new concepts. You know, he's not open to, you know, different religions, that sort of a thing. That's what I get from him. I feel like he tries. I feel like he puts a face on. And again, I get this vibe that Lana is easily easily caught up with someone who will woo her that will do nice things and I'm not saying that she is dumb or she is immature she just gets caught up with that her birthday is June 21st she's on the cusp of Gemini in Cancer June 22nd is Cancer so she's got a lot of emotional she's deep she's soulful you know um she's got a lot of deep qualities he is February the 4th I finally, finally found his birthday. And so he is an Aquarius. So he is uh, makes a lot of decisions based on thought and reason. And she makes a lot of decisions. Well, she's an air sign too, but she's right on the cusp. When you are born right on the cusp, you have you four days before and four days after it changes, you have those qualities. So she's like right on the cusp. I'm November 21st, sorry, November 23rd. November 22nd is Scorpio, November 23rd is Sagittarius. I have some Scorpio traits. So anybody that's born on the cusp four days before and four days after it changes has those traits as well. So I feel she is very emotional, very sensitive, and easily, easily, um, it's like all he has to do is just say, hey baby, can I get you something? And she's like, oh, he likes me. You know, she falls easy to that. And so I feel he's charming and he knows how to talk to her, you know. Um, and it's like she doesn't realize that she's kind of being manipulated by him. I don't like him. I haven't liked him from the day, the very first reading that I've done. I don't like his vibe. It's just like underneath, like under all his facade or or what he likes the world to see, I get there's there's a, there's something about him that makes me uneasy. It's hard to explain what I feel. 
And some of you guys might understand what I'm trying to say. It's just like deep, deep, deep down there where he doesn't let other people um, see or he doesn't show. I get someone who, uh, I don't know. He's, he, he just, he's, he's, there's just something uneasy about him I don't like. You know, it's like, I know I'm going a little bit on too much about this, but I want you guys to understand it's like somebody who is, I'm not saying this is what he is, but it's somebody who um, is a very nice boyfriend at first. And then before you know it, his girlfriend has dropped all her friends, dropped all the family, and she's only dependent on him. I kind of feel like that. I'm not saying he's gonna, he's gonna, she, he's gonna make her do all that stuff, but it's a slow progression of some sort of a control, is what I feel. Before she knows it, she is um, codependent on him. Okay. So that is the vibe I get. Now, are they engaged? Okay, I want to say no. I want to say no. And if they are engaged, I'm worried for her. Because I think that's a little bit too soon. I don't know when they were first seen together, if it was six months or if it was longer than that. But um, she's taken by him. You know, like, she's taken by him. Um, but it's like, I get that Sean Larkin sort of a... Um, vibe, you know, that he's with her to be elevated somehow. And, but Sean was a little bit more transparent, you know, where this guy is a little bit more stealthier, a little bit more, you know, um, uh, he's a little craftier, you know, he's hard, he's harder to see through. Okay. I know that you guys aren't, you know, this wasn't about his personality and all that stuff, but I'm, I'm just trying to get you guys to get the gist of like how, how I feel him as a person. And I don't like him. I don't like him for her. I feel like he should love her for who she is, not for what she can do for him. Okay. I'll just, I'm going to go with the cards and see what the cards say. I I just get ulterior motive from him, that's all. What are the messages regarding Sean? Sean, not Sean. Clayton. Clayton. Got Sean on my brain now. Clayton and Lana. Clayton and Lana. I hope this is the same Clayton. He's 31. Uh, she's older. She, born, she was born in 85, so she is 35. 85, 95, 2005, 2015, 2020. So yes, she was 35 years old and he was born in 89. So he's like 31. Math was not my strongest subject in school. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure that this is, there goes my dog. Yeah, I think this is him. Yeah. Like there's that one picture of him where he's giving the peace sign like this um, in his car. I don't like that look. I don't like that look. Okay, all right, let's see what the cards have to say about these two. Okay, what are the messages? Clayton and Lana. Clayton and Lana. Clayton and Lana. Okay, so what are the messages regarding Clayton and Lana? I don't know if they get along the best. There is the Five of Wands, and this talks about rivalry, challenges, obstacles, it's conflict. So there might be some conflict here that goes on between them. Um, small, this is like small little petty fights, okay? Um, then we have the Knight of Wands. 
and the Knight of Wands is a lusty, free-spirited man. He does have passion, but this is a fast-moving energy. It moves in. He moves in very, very quickly. Uh, the Knight of Wands talks about passion, desire, progress, travel. He's dynamic, creative, and driven. Applied to a situation, it she show he shows speed and action. He, I feel like. Yes, they met on the dating app, but it's like, this is quick, you know? Um, I feel like he's trying to make a good impression with everybody, even though I feel like he's kind of a crummy guy in some way, okay? Um, he's trying too hard. Uh, this is about a stuck situation being freed up. A whirlwind romance are possible, okay? So, I mean, this could be that whirlwind romance. Then we have the card Judgment. And Judgment talks about... Um, this card is about being on the brink of change. And with it comes memories, dreams of the past. Um, you, decide, you may decide to give a situation or relationship a second chance. Or re re review your behavior. It's about trying to make sense of things. So they could be getting into these little squabbles, right? And then they give it another chance. I feel like somehow they're learning from this. Maybe she's learning and becoming wiser. It's becoming experienced. When you become experienced, then you become wiser. Um, this is needing time alone. So maybe one of them right now are needing some time apart or time alone to think about things. And then we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, now see, the Knight, see, usually the Queen is paired up with the King, okay? And here we have the Knight, who is younger than the Queen. She's older than him, okay? So this is a feisty woman. She's self-assured, she's confident, she's the master of her domain. So she has passion too, and she's very confident. And so I do feel... Um, that these two uh, kind of, they can butt heads. He's immature. And I think she sees that. And that's a problem there. Okay? She's feisty. She's self-assured. She's confident. Even though I feel there's this na uh, nativity about her, she's still confident. Okay? He thinks he's got something on her. But he doesn't. She's got, I feel like she's got a lot of friends and these friends look out for her just for that fact. Okay. All right. Let's ask if about marriage, if they're engaged. See, I'm looking at something here right, says, right now. It says Lana Del Rey's fiance, Clayton Johnson. Everything to know. This People magazine is no better than other trash magazines, I think. It used, to, it used to be trustworthy. Okay. Let's ask about marriage. What are the messages regarding marriage for Lana and Clayton? All right, now if there was if there was some sort of a sign of a marriage, I'd have Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups. I would have um, Four of Cups. I would have Lovers. Um, I got the Three of Cups. Okay, this does talk about friendship celebrations. It's a circle of support. Three of Cups sometimes talks about three people in a party. So. I mean, I'm not saying he's cheating on her or anything like that, but this can say that there's a third party situation here. Okay. All right. Here's the magician. And this is about turning your visions into reality. So it's like he can be the magician. He's got all the tools here. He's got the pentacle, the wand, the cup, the sword, and he's got unlimited power. I feel like whatever this guy wants, he can get. And then there's the ace of wands. And this is about the new romance. This is about wanting to create something 
Um, it is about partnership, but nothing has come up here saying that like no, no, none of those cards have come up. Now, this is about beginnings, drive, desire, ideas. Um, it's about good work. It's a, it is a great omen for success for new work. Maybe like he's in it to hopefully get some sort of a work, you know, through her. Okay, so this does mean and mean this does mean a commitment from a male partner. So he's giving her a commitment. Okay, let's see what the future messages are. I mean, none of the cards came up like marriage, you know, or engagement or anything like that. Let's see what the future messages are for Clayton and Lana. Future messages for Clayton and Lana. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles, which is someone feeling left out in the cold. This is about worry, isolation, financial loss. This is this is mm, being left out in the cold. Okay, Five of Pentacles talks about fear, poverty, lack. It's feeling poor or isolated emotionally. Um, this is about never having what you think you'll need. So this is about that five of that five of coins, you know. Um, yeah, worry, financial loss, that sort of a thing. Future, there's a burden. There's the ten of wands. Ten of wands talks about stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities. It's going to become stressful. And then we have the justice card, and justice talks about um, action, decisions. Clarity. There might be some some clarity and balance that comes into this relationship or decisions. Um, it's about arguments being laid to rest. So to me, I think there's going to be some clarity coming up between these two. And there's going to be some decisions made. Not one cup card came up. Ace of cups, two of cups. Uh, uh, what else is a good card? Nine of cups, 10 of cups. None of those, none of those cards came up. Uh, the lovers never came up. Um, so I don't know. Don't crucify me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I really feel no, you know, I really just don't feel like this is going to take off. I mean, it might seem solid, but I think he's, I just really feel like he's putting on a show for everyone to like him. And then he's just a different person behind closed doors. Okay. All right, everyone, there you go. If anyone's interested in purchasing a private reading from me, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. Um, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. My turnaround time is about five days. It's probably even less than that, but that is the maximum. All right. Thank you for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting this channel and to keep reaching out and asking for readings. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.